more of USA's satisfaction. Sure. I'd like yeah, you to yeah. read something in your most American oh. accent. You are listening to the Rich Eisen schooling Brockman on why he is always wrong show. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect! Rich, no, you do it in an Australian. You are listening to the Rich Eisen schooling Brockman on why he's always wrong show, mate. Joe Buck joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. We're still wondering what a catch is in the NFL. Do you have a solution to this, Joe? The officials were at our hotel in Green Bay, and there were a couple of guys on that crew that were indicating that they may, the league in the next couple of years, may just throw the rule book out and start over. Joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show, Trent Dilfer. I think Carson's more of an MVP candidate than even Cam Newton. What Carson has done in Arizona is remarkable. I think they're the second best team in football to the Patriots. It's just perfect synergy between super aggressive, I don't give a crap head coach Bruce Arians <laughs> and Carson Palmer, who was born to be aggressive as a passer. My money is on Arizona to be in Santa Clara. Greg Olson here of the 9 and 0 Panthers on the Rich Eisen Show. Cam's personality is what it is. He's a fun-loving guy. He enjoys celebrating, going to do his little dance. It's hard for us to wrap our heads why it's a big deal that he can't do it. Every guy who makes a tackle has a 15-second celebration on a routine tackle on a flat. But now all of a sudden when Cam does it, it's an issue. I just don't understand why it's a different story with him. Mike Pereira joining me here, former VP of NFL refs. The officiating at the collegiate level has been an abomination this year. The Duke-Miami play was the one that, to me, almost made me throw every monitor that was in Fox Studios against the wall. Replay got involved even though they deny it. I think the replay official should be suspended for life, not for two games. <laughs> the owner and president of the Arizona Cardinals, Michael Bidwell. What did you see in Bruce Arians that you said, that's our guy? Well, he's a leader, and he's had success pretty much every place he's gone, and um, uh, and and you could see that he was going to be a great head coach if somebody just gave him the opportunity. And then the plan he had, um, you know, when we got into the formal interview and he laid out the whole plan and we talked about things, I just knew that we had somebody really special. Dabo Swinney, Clemson head coach here on the Rich Eisen Show. What has been your, I guess, ingredient for success to take these talented young kids and send them to the next level? I've always made my living coaching wideouts. I'm passionate about that position. I think it's the worst coach position uh, in the NFL. <laughs> One thing I know, we know what we're doing. I may screw up a defensive lineman or something, but I ain't going to screw up a wideout. The new bantamweight champion in the UFC women's division, Holly Holm, here on the Rich Eisen Show. Have you ever bowled a frozen turkey in any no. shape or form? No, I think okay. I'm going to do great, though. What normally do you do before you you compete? You stare down? I I'm intimidated right now. Okay. Yes! Yeah! I got three for three, but I didn't get a strike. If you had a choice between knocking anything oh, down yes. over the last six days... I would miss the turkey three times. You really. chose the right <laughs> knockdown yeah. at Target. Best! The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.